So for spring summer 2024, we've received yet another denim monogram collection, but this time I think they got it right. So back in like November, December, I reported on the Louis Vuitton monogram denim drop that came, I think it was like January 1 for spring summer. Listen, there were a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of the collection that we saw was like a Marc Jacobs regurgitation. Prices were insane, which annoyingly they dropped after my video went up because my TikToks all say the old price and everyone's like, it's not that price. I'm like, I know it's not, check the website. Anyway, besides the point, we also had a couple of years where Coach gave us some amazing, amazing denim drops. I think quite personally, and my opinion, my denim tabby is the best version of the three that have come out. However, stay tuned for that because we're getting some hints. There's some rumors swirling about that Coach is going to do another denim drop and it's going to include this colorway again. Keep your eyes out for that because as soon as that's announced and drops, I'm going to be putting out a video because I freaking love my denim tabby. But today we're looking at Gucci. Now Gucci is a house that I'm on the fence about, quite honestly. Like, I loved Alessandra McKaylee until it was too much, and then DeSarno came along and I missed out McKaylee, and then uh, now I'm like, oh, okay, I'm kind of on board with DeSarno's vision. Right now, they've dropped a new denim collection. It comes in three different colors. The darker denim that I think they've had for a minute. It also is joined by, like, a pastel beige, pastel green, and it's honestly really cute, and the prices, guys, are not insane. Like, they're insane, but comparing them to, like, the LV denim collection prices like you're gonna save like a thousand to two thousand depending on what you buy so today i'm sharing with you some of my top favorites from the gucci pastel denim collection but before we get into all that hey guys my name is caleb i post luxury and lifestyle related content when every wednesday friday and saturday so if that's something you're into make sure you hit the subscribe button down below check out our membership we have an awesome engaged community discord extra perks access early access to new videos it's definitely worth it, give it a shot. And let's dive in to some of the best denim so far for Spring 24. So up first, and probably what I could see being the most popular from this collection, is the Gucciophedia GG Small Handbag, and my favorite, the Pale Green Denim, which just reminds me of Pistachio Gelato. Uh, or it's pistachio donuts from Stan's. Either way you cut it, I love a pistachio moment, and this bag is no exception. Now I love that they've paired that cool soft pastel green with nickel hardware, like it just kind of helps elevate it, makes it a little bit more modern. Day to night, easy peasy, you've got the chain that you can add on, you've got the crossbody strap. I love the GG monogram on the bag, and then of course you have the Marmont GG style on both the zipper pull and the front emblem. This bag, I mean, I, like I said, I could see this being the most popular, and it's sub $2,000. Take notes, LV. 1990 could buy you this bag, which is kind of a steal these days, gross enough to say. Now, if you're like me and you are an absolute diehard Speedy lover, I mean, I, I really need to carry my Multicolor out soon, but if you love the Speedy, and especially the denim one with that cute koala snap pocket on the front, then these might be just up your alley. Now, this particular size comes in two different colorways. You can have the light beige denim, or again, that beautiful pale green denim. We're gonna see this with the top handle and the crossbody. so for those of you who love the Speedy bandolier, this could be a good alternative for for you. This is going to be something great that you can carry every day. The hardware on the light beige is a nice soft gold. The pale green, of course, we see that nice nickel hardware. Did I mention the price? $21.90? Just a little bit more upmarket than the last bag we talked about, and it's barely a couple hundred dollars more. Like, I mean, these are still very high prices for something like monogram canvas, but at the end of the day, it's going to be better than what you're going to get over at LV. Now, they do have the mini version of that bag. Again, it's giving mini speedy. Priced at only $19.80. Now, this size only comes in the pale green, so if you love that beige, you're going to have to go a little bit more upmarket. But again, this light pistachio green is like so perfect for pairing with spring florals. I, I think this is gonna be a really popular color this year. Now this next bag, this is something that I have considered for my collection several times. I recently got the chance to try it on in like an exotic at the outlet. Didn't buy it, coulda, woulda, shoulda. However, this bag, the small shoulder bag, it's, it's stunning, you guys. Now the chain, it's not detachable, so you could just, if you wanted to carry it clutch style, let it drape down. Total moment, iconic vibe status. Priced at 2200 this is gonna be perfect for like a little bit more of a dressier outfit if you need something for like lunches, dinners out, going to the theater. This is gonna be the bag for you. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. This would also look really cute with like some jeans and like a t-shirt kind of moment, like casual vibes, we're here for it. Now this one, like I said, comes in the light beige. It also comes in the dark denim, which we're gonna talk about a lot more in here in just a second. The black and gray denim, this is gonna be really moody. Like again, this is gonna give you kind of like that rocker chic moto vibe. And again, 
That one does cost a little bit more at $2,200. Now this next bag is something that I could actually vouch for. I have it in my collection. I love it. It is perfect for the weekends. I have mine in suede, so it's not, not exactly perfect for weekends, but I do love mine as, as it is. Like it's a great size. This is the mini shoulder bag. Again, this is probably gonna be the best price bag on our list. It's coming in at only $1,150. I mean, that's kind of a steal these days, right? So like I said, perfect for weekends, can go on the shoulder, it can go crossbody. I am six foot seven, not the lightest I've ever been, and it can go crossbody on me, which is great. Now again, that light beige that's gonna come with that beautiful champagne gold hardware. Now I sadly don't think this is available in that beautiful pistachio green, but the bag is good enough and looks amazing in light beige. All right guys, we've got a couple more options here in the pastels, and then I wanna to touch on some of that darker, moodier denim. But next up, we have the mini shoulder bag. Gosh, they are so imaginative with their names. Now this one is gonna be very interesting. It's kind of in a crescent shape, so you have that like rounded bottom. Not necessarily the most friendly when you're putting in something larger like a bigger card holder or wallet, or maybe even like a bigger phone like I have. But this bag, you guys, it is a Vibe 100. Beautifully done, you've got the leather on the exterior, priced at $1,200. A, a brand new Gucci bag for twelve hundred. Like you need to really take some notes, LV. Like let's let's get it together. Now, if you don't love it in the denim, this is available in that classic Ophidia GG canvas. But I'm really loving this green, so I think it would be worth it to get it in the denim. Beautifully done. You've got the chain on the inside for your keys. Like what more could you ask for? Did I mention it's only twelve hundred? Last but not least, let's round this out with some totes. Now, if you know, big elevated totes are going to be big for twenty twenty four, and Gucci has you covered, and not at bad prices either. So first up, we have the medium tote bag. This is priced at twenty four fifty. I mean, do you really need me to romance a tote bag for you? If you do, okay. This has the crossbody strap. You've got a little bit of a top handle. I think you could probably fit a smaller laptop in there and it does come with a removable pouch. Maybe not a small laptop, but maybe an iPad or an e-reader. Now this is available in the light beige denim. You can also get it in the light green denim. And it also comes in the dark moodier denim. With the dark denim, this is gonna give you a little bit more of a masculine look. It's, it's dark, it's edgy, it's moody. Perfect for like those folks who love like that moto rocker chic style. Again, classic styling, top handle, crossbody. This colorway comes in two sizes. You can get it in the medium and you can also get it in like a cute little mini version, which is priced at $14.90. Not bad for a cute denim bag. Let's be serious. So denim is just going to be one of those like classic perennial materials. Depending on how you do it and how you price it, I think will we'll kind of dictate the success of a collection. So I think that Gucci's done a really amazing job this time around as opposed to LV. I, I wanted to love the LV stuff, but it was just too Marc Jacobs throwback centric and the prices were insane. But this is like a beautiful amount of minimal new Gucci that we're seeing from DeSarno and really decent prices. We're, we're, we're not seeing a lot of good prices these days in the luxury field. So it's just kind of refreshing to see like one of the big houses price things so well. And another thing we're looking forward to, don't forget, some more Coach Denim coming this year. And like I said, everything's gonna be linked down below, so go ahead and check it out. And that's all I have for you today. Until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.